I'm sure you recognize this. Uh, a client says to you, we want to become more customer centered. We want to work in a different way. We want to put the customer at the heart of everything you do. And then the next day, they just go back to business as usual, doing the things that they've always been doing. And that, that's a big challenge for us who are trying to change companies, change organizations for the better. So how do you open, help people to open up their minds, their time, their resources to actually do stuff differently? That's a question that I got from Macho, and here's my take. I'm really inspired by the idea of liminal thinking introduced by Dave Gray. And from what I understand from that, in order to change people's behavior, you need to, that, that's built upon certain beliefs, beliefs that you've built up throughout your life, and you build up those beliefs through experiences that you go through. And uh, yeah, it, it takes your whole life. So in order to change behavior, you need to change beliefs. And in order to change beliefs, you need to let people go through experiences. What does this mean for us as a service design community? Well, it's a huge opportunity because you can think of experiences through experiments that allow people to do different things um, and, and change their thinking in a safe environment. So what does this mean? Let me give you a practical exa example that um, I hope a lot of you already know. The marshmallow challenge. If you want to uh, get somebody to see the value of prototyping in 18 minutes through the marshmallow challenge, um, if you let them do the marshmallow challenge, and even, even if they are not participating, but just watching and seeing what happens, they have gone through an experience and after the, these 18 minutes, their mind at least ha has changed about what this means and what this can do. So I think we as service designers are really good at coming up with small activities in a small, in a safe space that allow people to experience new things. Those new things, those experiences change beliefs and that changes behavior. So that's the way I think we can actually change organizations. Is it a fast route? No, it takes time, but it takes time to develop new belief systems. If you want to know how to create so these experiments, because I think we're really good at it, in this video, I talk about some of the ideas and some of the ways you can actually come up with these experiments that help you to change people and change organizations. So click this video and I'll see you over there.